The next question says, what's the solution with Islamic radicalism in Kashmir and in other places? I know this is wrong, but I'm getting so cynical that I'm beginning to sympathize with CCP. Oh my God, with CCP tactics. Higgs boson, are you are you like are you thinking that the situation is so dire that you need to do something that is worse than the problem that you're trying to solve? Okay, what do you guys think about this? Okay, for Kashmir, short term solution would be uh, demographic change. There's no other way. Uh, in long term, I think I'm positive that Kashmir will uh, uh, de radicalize. There won't be problem in long term. I think then the Punjab problem will start to rise, but uh, Kashmiris uh, don't have much of an option. They can't really be an uh, independent state because actually if you talk Kashmir, I think we should do a huge podcast over this because... Uh, yes, I'm very, I'm, uh, I'm want to do a podcast with you and yes. uh, Kiyam. He, he's not, he hasn't yeah. responded. I don't know where he yeah. is, okay? No. But, okay, so how do you... Um, what do you mean by demographic engineering? What would you do? Uh, like, would you just replace all the Muslims with the Hindus? No, no, no. Uh, okay. Put uh, put uh, so the Hindu pundits back there and then put uh, XR military servicemen there and then st start aspiration. There's no uh, means start uh, put uh, ex-army men. They will ensure security of the region. As of now, the Kashmir runs on a very conflict, uh, uh, on conflict economy. So people are incentivized to uh, uh, to become terrorists because when they stop uh, ter uh, terrorist uh, acts, the government gives them aid and money to rehabilitate. Um, Kashmiris are okay, quite okay, rich people. But, but this is, okay, here's a question. Why can't we just have a referendum today in Kashmir and they decide, this right, uh, self, as they were promised, uh, you know, the right okay. to self-determination and all of that. Why can't we just do that? But, but uh, I think a uh, huge chunk of uh, Kashmir is with Pakistan. Does Pakistan want referendum? And what kind yeah. of referendum do people want? Okay, uh, I'm, because... I'm not saying, okay, so, I'm, okay, independ obviously this is not going to happen because both India and Pakistan might not let it, okay? But I'm just saying in an in, a, in La La Land, in a high, a, ideal situation, wouldn't that be the best thing that we could do? Just give them a referendum and they decide whether they want to be part of Pakistan, India, or their own separate country. Yeah, uh, in fantasy land, it's possible. Uh, we should, but the realities cannot be ignored. Uh, there, okay, there's but... too much complications. Okay, so the also what Kashmir? Uh, what isn't that? Doesn't that seem unfair? Like people are saying, like you're just delaying the. the... Uh, the referendum until you could put your own people there. And no, there's the there's no there's no, there's never going to be a referendum, ever. There's never going to be a referendum. I think Pakistan was always for that because it's mostly Islamic and they think it would choose. No, no, no. It's Pakistan delaying the referendum. It had ch every chance to do that, but uh, when Pakistan invaded, it killed uh, like uh, one third of the population. So Muslims did not want to go, uh, go with Pakistan at that time. So it was delaying uh, further. Then the Pakistan, Pakistan occupied Kashmirist started to okay, rebel. So they, I, I, they, I, we don't know if you're what you're saying is true because you're very pro. Uh, on, yes, on the uh, I'll side. explain it uh, in uh, <laughs> if we do a big live stream. Okay. I can explain how, what happened. Okay, okay. But can you at least agree that this whole CCP tactic is not the right way to go about doing things, right? I think uh, that's the only solution. Look, for Wait, greater what? good, that's the only. What do you mean? Uh, demographic only... engineering. Okay, demographic okay, engineering. CCP tactic, like putting no, 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 no okay. need of CCP tactics. Uh, okay. They aren't as radical as they look and as they talk, Kashmiris, they aren't as radical as they look and they talk they, uh, so we don't we won't need uh, that kind of measures uh, okay. it can be easily stabilized a lot of people actually want to be with, with india if it's india or pakistan so they have this idea okay. of independent kashmir but mm -hmm. which is not going to happen but uh, when it, when it's when it comes to choosing between india and pakistan they would choose india Aksimara, would you describe yourself as a hindu or not oh uh, yeah i'm hindu Okay, so um, don't you f find it kind of ironic that 
uh, a lot of people in India accuse the Muslim community of trying to do demographic engineering through love jihad, but you know, actual no. Hindu, Hindu, a Hindu government and Hindu people are the actual ones who are in favor of real demographic engineering. I don't think love jihad is a huge thing. It's just blown out of proportion. It's I know, very, I know, uh, I know, I agree. Uh, but uh, such incidents do happen. When that's I know reality. the incidents happen, but the conspiracy is not that, oh, sometimes these things happen. The conspiracy is that there's a mass conspiracy to change the demographics of India through picking up um, Hindu girls and converting them to... Yeah, Islam. it's, it's okay, conspiracy. So it's conspiracy. Okay, that's conspiracy. I, I know, I but, agree. Uh, but there's... Uh, there's just systematic effort to uh, do love jihad kind of uh, operations there have been uh, actually it uh, stems from actually a lot of people don't know but muslims are more uh, f fear uh, fearful of love jihad reverse love jihad kind of thing so in kashmir if you see or in pakistan or bangladesh hindus and muslims cannot marry even in kashmir uh, which is part of india they have in constitution that if uh, uh, the in their law book that uh, if Kashmiri woman marries outside Kashmir, she will lose her uh, right to be Kashmiri. Okay, okay, but we're not, we're not, uh, we're getting off topic r right now. Wait, hold on, let me see. There's a wait. Were you talking about Kashmir again or love chat? I was reading the live chat. The live chat is saying uh, Shri Yash in the live chat is saying Kashmir was initially free. Most Kashmiris wouldn't gone for Pakistan. They were there were anti-Muslim riots supported by Kashmir police. It's Hindu king and RSS. Just, okay, no, this is not correct. Kashmir was ruled by a Hindu king, but ma the mass majority of people were Muslims. Okay, I just think like it just seems like it's unfair because uh, the people there would have voted for either joining Pakistan or being an independent country. And India is like, hold up, what if we change the people and then we ask them? That's what demographic engineering means. Like how, like let's not instead of giving them, it's, instead of giving them the right to choose their own destiny, the, uh, destiny. What we do is we put our the people who ally with us there, and then we then, then we give them the right to self determination. That doesn't seem fair at all. Does it seem fair to you? Oh, uh, actually, the lot of details are missing. I think I'll have to do okay. a, a detailed explanation over this. Uh, but I will also have to add something that's very, uh, that's something th not a lot of people talk about. Kashmir is, that India owns is 135 by 32 kilometer area. It is very small, tiny piece of land. It controls a uh, Hindu majority and Buddhist majority regions, which is Jammu, is, which is Hindu majority region in Kashmir and a Buddhist majority region in Kashmir, which is Ladakh. The, uh, the Kashmir controls both. So actually, the Kashmir we are talking about is very tiny land. It is like 135 by 6, uh, 62 or 65 kilometer. It's not uh, very huge. If India actually uh, would have given it uh, to Pakistan if it wanted, but Pakistan actually does not want Kashmir. It runs on conflict okay. economy. It's not favorable for army to have Kashmir. Okay, let's let's hope that Ibn Qiyam responds to our email so we could have a very interesting long discussion about this. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.